This is MathGuide.com and my name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to look at how to graph a tangent curve and we're specifically going to talk about period and phase shift. Alright, so I'm going to jump right into an example and explain as we go. Here's our first equation. Alright, so let's say we're dealing with y equals tangent of 2x. And we want to graph this curve. So the first thing we have to do is calculate what the period is. And we'd like to know, of course, what the phase shift is. Once we know these two characteristics, we'll be able to graph it. So unlike sine and cosine, uh, tangent you start with 180 degrees. For sine and cosine, you start with 360. Uh, okay, so we take 180 degrees and divide by whatever this number is in front of the x. So it's the coefficient in front of x. So we divide by 2, and we get 90. Okay, got our period, which is the horizontal length of one cycle. All right, the phase shift is whatever number in parentheses, like imagine a set of parentheses here, and we were either adding or subtracting something for x. And you can see clearly here we are not adding or subtracting anything from x inside parentheses. So it's quite easily seen that there is no phase shift. All right, so this is pretty much a standard curve, which is the slight change in period. Okay, so what do you do to graph it? Well, I'm going to draw a y-axis. I'm going to draw a x-axis. All hand-drawn. Okay, so I've got this. And... The length of one cycle is 90 degrees. So I'm going to go 90 degrees and center it right here at the origin. So I'm going to go 45 degrees left from the origin, 45 degrees right of the origin, and together that makes 90 degrees. And I'm going to put asymptotes right there. Yep, it's a little strange. These curves are not sinusoids. They don't look like sine or cosine. They're a whole different beast. Okay, so we basically have every 90 degrees we're going to put these asymptotes. All right, I'm going to try to draw this curve here now in black the best I can by hand. So the way these curves look is they start down here and then they swoop through the origin and they go up here just like this. So here's what one period looks like. Uh, okay, well, we could put another distance over there. We could put another distance over here. I'm trying to eyeball this. But I could put at every 90 degree interval, I could put another set of asymptotes. So if I were to add 90, I would get 135 over here. I would get negative 135 over here. And I would draw myself another one of these tangent curves. Okay, and I could do another one over here also. Okay, so the tangent curves look like that. Okay, there's no phase shift, so I don't need to shift everything. So the black curves are it. Okay, let's go on to another example. Okay, here is our second example. Uh, let's try now a different problem where I'm going to... Put down y equals 10, 3 times the quantity x plus 10. All right, again, I want to figure out what is the period and what is the phase shift. Okay, well, the period, you take 180 degrees and you divide by whatever number is in front here. So I'm going to divide by 3. I know for three, for sine and cosine, you always take 360. So it's different. So 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. Okay, whatever this number is, you take the opposite, and that is the phase shift. So since that's plus 10, you make that negative 10. Okay, so I'm going to draw a set of axes. I'm going to draw a y-axis. I'm going to draw an x-axis. Alright, now this is 60, so I'm going to go 30 left and right from the origin. 
and I'm going to draw asymptotes. Asymptotes. And you could do that, and I'm going to do that every 60 degrees. I'm going to draw another set of asymptotes. Okay, so let's see. Where are those points? Well, let's see, 30 plus 60, that would be 90. 30, negative 30, subtract 60 would be negative 90. And I draw my curve. So these curves have this swooping-like uh, look about them. So I go, well, you know, that was a bad start. I'm not supposed to cross these asymptotes. The curved lines are guided by these asymptotes, these curved. The curve is, is uh, guided by this line called an asymptote. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do the other one over here. Okay, it's kind of hard to do this by hand to get them looking smooth, but eh, those aren't really too bad. Okay, got that. Now, those are not the final answers. Now, the difference between problem one and now this problem is that this problem has a phase shift. All right, what does that mean for us? It means that I'm now going to shift the curve. So now, instead of the curve being at 30, I'm going to shift it 10 degrees to the left. So imagine just bumping it over a little bit, and the, now the asymptote is going to be moved over. So all the asymptotes are now moved over slightly to the left. Everything's moved or shifted 10 degrees to the left. Okay, so now what I want to draw is draw, uh, draw the new curve, and since I'm in blue, I'm going to stick with blue. Okay, so I'm going to now draw the curve through these new points that have just been shifted over. Eh, that one doesn't look so good over there. It's supposed to be shifted over a little bit more. Okay, so let's shift. So the curve looks like that. So they have the same shape, except now they were just slid over a little bit. There you have it. And now I've got my curve. So this curve is instead of going from negative 30 to 30, it looks like it goes from negative 40 to 20. We call that an interval of the curve from negative 40 to 20. Okay, that was our second problem. Let's get to another one. All right, here's our last example, example number three. So let's say we have y equals tangent one-half x minus pi thirds. Okay, a couple things going on here. All right, so let's talk about what the period and phase shift are. Okay, well, the period is going to be 180 degrees and we're going to divide it by a half. We're not dividing by two, we're dividing by a half. So 180 divided by a half is the same thing as 180 times the reciprocal, two. So 180 times two is 360. What's the phase shift? The opposite of this number, pi thirds. Now this problem is, is strange because I've got degree period, if I could spell the word period, there we go. I've got a uh, degree period, and I've got it a, uh, a phase shift, which is in radians. But remember, pi is just 180 degrees, right? That's half a circle, pi. So this is 180 divided by 3. 180 divided by 3 is 60. So really, the phase shift is 60 degrees. You've got everything now consistent. Everything is now in degrees. OK, so what do we do? We, again, draw a y-axis. We draw an x-axis. I'm going to go 360 degrees. I'm just going to draw one period for this one. Make this one look large, because it is. Uh, OK, so I'm going to go half right and half left. Uh, let's make sure they look like they're even. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So I'm going to go half right half left. So half of 360 is 180, negative 180. That's a distance of 360. Let's put asymptotes there. Asymptote right there. Okay, now we draw the curve. 
So our curve is going to, matter of fact, I'm going to do this all in white since it's not our final answer. So I'm going to sh uh, graph this using the asymptotes as a guide. Oh, I'm supposed to go through the inner origin there. So it has that lazy looking shape there. Okay, now I've got that. Now, we do have to phase shift this. So I'm going to shift everything 60 degrees to the right. So, let's see, what would that be if I shifted 60? So 180 plus 60 is 240. So that's 120. And I've got a new asymptote. Okay, so everything's shifted 60 degrees to the right. So I added 60 to get there. And I added 60 there to get 240. All right. So instead of going through 0, it's also going to be shifted over. And that would be 60 degrees. It's going to go through 60. All right. So let's let the uh, asymptotes guide the curve. And there you go. So instead of going from negative 180 to positive 180, our new curve, which is in black now, is going from negative 120 to positive 240. And that's what we would call an interval of the curve, negative 120 to positive 240. Okay, this has been MathGuide.com. Check out our other interactive quizzes, instructional videos, and text-based lessons. Take care.